to the gym this morning. Oh my gosh, it felt so good to get back to the gym. I ran on the elliptical for 20 minutes. I did my usual workout, like with weights and stuff, but still not like too much quite yet. Still trying to recover, but it felt amazing. And then I sat in the sauna for like 10 minutes and I hadn't even done that when I was pregnant. And I started at this new gym, at Gold's Gym, so it has a sauna and I was like, I really wanna sit in it. It was so hot though. <laughs> so I was like, wow. This felt really good to get back again. I'm gonna try really hard to go at least two times a week, like at some point. So I really hope, hope, hope that I can do that. Back home, got me a shower. Got a little ready. Now I gotta get ready to get to the shop to do some hair this afternoon. Daddy O took off though when I got back just to, so he can get a few things done. But then he's gonna watch Camry this afternoon. <sighs> yep, so this week is getting busy, busy, or Yeah, so just wanted to update you guys that. I was in that, I don't know what else we're gonna be doing. But Claire Bear, actually, we're gonna go take her to a gymnastics trial class at a different gymnastics place than where we're at because our friends are taking their little girl there and they said they could bring a friend for free and we could try it out so we're gonna do that and I think Claire is gonna love it but I just don't know if we're gonna be able to go every week right now just because our lives are busy but we're gonna try it out so hey guys so just been up this morning with Cameron actually this morning we could not find our keys mine or dad's keys to get the girls to school like what we were looking everywhere and I still not found my keys and we we're like did y'all take because I thought Claire took our keys which we still don't know if it was Kinsley or Claire one of them took dad's keys yesterday and pretty much hid them from us I think they were just playing with them we found them in Camry's room and Kinsley's shoes were in there so we were like well maybe Kinsley took them but I don't think Kinsley would have just taking them and been playing with them. I think it was Claire, but Claire kept saying that Kinsley did, and so maybe she did, and she was just playing with them and didn't realize they were like dad's real keys or something, because they do have a set of play keys that look real. Anyway, so we were looking everywhere, everywhere for these keys. I thought that, because I drove his car yesterday to work, because him and Cameron went and done some errands when I was at the salon yesterday, and I thought I drop them outside somewhere but we ended up found them in Cammy's room like who do you guys out there have y'all left your keys in your kids take them to play with them and then there's no telling where they're at I mean we were looking everywhere in the kitchen and the living room and I really did not think they were in Cammy's room um even when I was like did you girls take the keys and play with them and stuff and we were looking everywhere in their room so the last place we looked was Camry's room because why would they be in there they don't even play in there like normally they play in the living room or in their room so anyways crazy crazy but I wanted to tell you guys how good Camry has been sleeping at night it's so crazy how good like it's like she just turned a leaf and it started sleeping so good at night I kind of got her on a routine now that she's almost two months I kind of got her on like a good routine bedtime routine and I'll talk about that in her update too and every night when it gets like 8, 9, 10 like whatever time is like going to be her last feeding before bed um, I feed her and then I try to get her to stay up like as much as possible like play with her, get a bath do her whole bath bedtime routine put on the lavender lotion I'll even like rock with her but like be talking to her um, until she starts getting sleepy so when I'm rocking her and she starts to like like she's about to fall asleep and she's getting sleepy and I'm like okay so it's time to feed her so I'll feed her again so like normally her routine is to eat stay awake and then take a nap eat stay awake take a nap and sometimes she doesn't take a really long nap and sometimes she can eat for like 45 minutes so sometimes it can only be like two hours before she like wants to eat again during the day but then anyway so at night time whenever she's about to fall asleep I go ahead and feed her again before she's like right about to fall asleep and normally sometimes she'll only eat for like 10 minutes maybe and sometimes she'll eat a long time I just let her eat whatever until she falls asleep so then she eats to fall asleep for that feeding but that's the only feeding that I do where she falls asleep to eat now and then I lay her down and she'll sleep like forever now she sleeps so good when I do that so that's kind of like our routine now I wonder if she'll keep up doing that or whatnot but around like 11 and then um, she'll sleep like this morning she slept until 5 30 
Like that's the longest she slept. Normally she gets up like three or four. Um, even three or four is a good long stretch of sleep for me because I go to sleep right after I lay her down to go to bed. I'm like, I go to bed, good night. Like, <laughs> I just feel like I'm so in a hurry to get to sleep and get to bed because I'm so tired. So from the day, especially now that I'm back at work, like working and everything. So then whatever time she wakes up, if it's three, four, five, then I feed her then. Guys, you guys have been <laughs> zoomed in on my face. Who knows how long? I've been talking about her schedule and I don't even know how long y'all been zoomed in. Let me remember where I left off. Y'all were like zoomed in on me, so y'all might be like really close up to me this last clip. But anyway, so I was trying to say that then when she gets up to eat in the middle of the night when it's like three four or five i feed her and it's like really i just make sure it stays really dark when i change her diaper and then she usually will eat and she really doesn't seem to eat that long for that one she seems like she kind of falls back asleep and sometimes if she falls asleep and it, she hasn't eaten a lot i'll try to lay her down and usually she'll wake up and want to eat more so i try to wake her up to eat more if she does that without going to lay her down first but then sometimes she's just like it's i don't know she won't wake up sometimes when i'm just like holding her and trying to get her to eat again i have to like lay her down to get her woke up to eat some more but usually i try to get her to eat like a pretty good bit at that in the middle of the night because I know she just went like such a long stretch and everything. Usually once I get her back to sleep and then I lay back down, sometimes it doesn't seem long. Like sometimes it might just be an hour or two and then she's ready to get up for the morning. But as long as I get that first initial long period of sleep at the very beginning of it all, then usually we end up doing really good. long as I get that amount of sleep, as long as she gets a good stretch of sleep at night, um, cause during the day she does not really take long naps. Like right now she's in her swing and she's kind of like up, like she's kind of, she'll sleep for a little bit and then she'll like wake up and want her pasty and then she'll like go back asleep. And then, um, and a lot of times because we're just so busy, she's in our car seat so much. So normally she takes her naps in her car seat sometimes when she's like in our car seat. And so she seems to need more help like taking naps throughout the day or like wants to be held to be rocked. But I'm like, that is totally fine. However her schedule goes during the day, as long as we can get a good nighttime routine, you know, going. And she sleeps good that first part. And now she started on that routine and that is like amazing it's so good and i feel like at first i was giving her a bath each night she's had a little rash on her bottom so i've like been trying to clean her bottom really good and if you have any tips with that too for rashes like a diaper rash like if you have any special remedy for that because she's got one right now and it like it's not like super bad but it's like not going away like it's like one of those that's just like sticking around and so, so yeah, so if you have any tips for that, but I've been trying to give her a good bath. Um, I've done coconut oil now, switching out between coconut oil and her diaper rash cream. And it seems to help, but it's just like not going away. <laughs> and so it's kind of aggravating. But, but anyways, when I started to do that, I felt like the bath, she loves, loves, loves bath time. I felt like she could stay in the bath for like 30 minutes just looking around and I just keep pouring the water over her and she loves that and that also gets her tired out for bedtime so i think i'm going to start doing that like every other night because um, i don't want to dry her skin out too much doing it every night but anyways y'all probably tired of hearing her routine and all because i can talk about this in her update but i just wanted to kind of let you guys know and just kind of document this because this is the point in time where she just really started to sleep really good at night so i'm getting ready this morning i've got you so i've got a busy day my grandma's coming over here and watching her today so, um, when I have a busy day at the salon, I try to get my grandma to come over and watch her, and then we pick Kinsley up. And so, because that has been watching her a lot, like, last week, and some this week while I was working, and, but now he's, like, wanting to try to get some more stuff done for the new place, and he's going to get, um, some rocks that we're going to put out in front of the business. He's getting business, like, chairs to go in the waiting room area. Um, he's got stuff like that that he's trying to get done, and then, um... Just other business stuff that he has to get done. So I'm trying to give him a break and get my grandma to come over here to watch her um, a little bit too. But it's really nice to have the help so that I can work at the salon and just get to work and do my work. And then, what? anyways, I'm going to go because I think I've been talking for like 20 minutes now. So this daily vlog is going to be full of just me talking, which is not cool. Where are you going? I did not get 
You want to go to gymnastics with your friend Neelan? Do you yeah. remember Neelan? Yeah! You're going to go to her class and be her friend in her class. Yeah. She asked you to go. So we got to get your gymnastics clothes on. Let's see if anything still fits you. This <laughs> good. Now we got to get your leotard on. Clothes on. Kinsley, you have clothes on. Wait, what? Claire, what do you have on? Uh, yeah. What? The For gymnastics? Gymnastics. Who's going to guys, gymnastics? Guys, I'm talking. Who's going to gymnastics, though? Me. Whoa. Because you have clothes on. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Guys, yeah. um, um, actually, I'm from the league. Um, she took it out and I guess she got a surprise. Yeah. No, I How'd you get a surprise from what? I'm um, from reading and that now you know the star thing I need to turn and I read. Yes. And I was the first one to get done. What? <laughs> I was really? the first one to get done reading. <laughs> really? And with that list, but the first one. What? Paul? Hey, you sure? Paul didn't? You nope. Did? What? I did. Wow. <laughs> Some people was not close, some people was I. Some people was close, but I got it first. Whoa. And I got Kizzy's thing. Well, you need to keep Thank you, Mom and Dad. Thank well, you, Mom and Dad. Well, you need to get started on the next one, so here. <laughs> it started reading somewhere. So, my friend's little girl takes gymnastics, and today is friend day, so she got to bring her friend Claire Bear, help, and that's why we're cat. taking her gymnastics. And she goes in by herself in this one instead of me having to go in with her. So we'll see how she does with going in by herself. I don't know. So it'll probably be fun. With this one, are you gonna be good? You have to listen. Are you gonna listen in gymnastics? I'm gonna listen. You promise? Okay. I'm gonna listen. And do your stretches. We're gonna be what you're gonna be with your coach and we're gonna be watching you the whole time. Yeah. Daddy, I don't know what this says. I could probably turn right here. <laughs> Look, I'm getting my Claire, let's see your outfit. <gasps> How oh, cute. Oh, that is so beautiful. Just beautiful. beautiful. Are you ready Let for your class? Up. So you're like a princess. Now, we're gonna listen to your teachers, okay? Yes. Say yes, sir. And do your and stretches, nice your and do your flips I, and handstands. Because I talked to them, and <laughs> all the girls in there are nice. Okay. Yes. They can't be mean, alright? <laughs> okay, but... But Claire, um, let me make your button too, so... I don't want a button. She wants to come out. Okay. 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 Oh, uh -oh. Oh, you got jelly, you got jelly on you. <laughs> no, you got peanut butter it. and jelly? Like alright, come on, let's go inside. But y'all gotta be quiet when we go in there. Well, I'll come and get her. Go. I'll get her. Okay. No, no, mommy. Whoa, watch out for that. <laughs> this door over here. <laughs> this door over here. You're trying to scare someone. <laughs> Walk over here, girls. <laughs> over here, girls. We gotta get Cameron. Girls, we gotta get camera. <laughs> Alright, come on, let's go in. Alright, if we go in here, y'all gotta be quiet, okay? Bill? Yeah. And we'll look for Neil, okay? Uh, Joel, you're right in front of me. Thank <laughs> you. 